Have you ever thought of changing your niche? What product or service you offer, but then you are afraid of being judged by your friends and colleagues as being flaky because, or, or maybe you're just thinking, well, they already know me as this, and now if I change to that, it's going to take a long time for people to catch on that now I'm doing something different. So I wanna assuage your concern, hopefully a little bit in this video. First, I wanna say that the nature of entrepreneurship is experimentation, learning from your experiments, and then changing as quickly as you can based on your um, experimentation. If you think that you can just choose one thing and have it be successful and it's always gonna be the same offering for the rest of your life, uh, I've got news for you. That's not typically how a successful business works. A successful business frequently pivots as needed in terms of what they are, what product or service they're offering based on what they're observing in the market and also based on what they're observing their real strengths are. So don't be afraid to change your offerings. And I'll give you a um, sort of an easier path to change is to do it through your content. So for example, let's say that uh, you're currently a business consultant and you are now really interested in uh, offering relationship coaching because you uh, were able to get through some really difficult relationship challenges yourself, you've helped other people with it, and you think, you know what, I need to offer this as a service. So, but then you're thinking, well, everyone knows me as a, as a business guy, so now I'm suddenly talking about relationships. Yes, you start through your content. You start by sharing articles or videos about the new topic you wanna to talk about, let's say relationships, and then you start getting some feedback from your audience on what they're loving about these ideas and these articles. And then after that, you can start offering a low risk offering, like doing a one hour online workshop that's you know $20 about relationships, about the new topic you wanna think about offering and maybe offer three different webinars on, on, the, on that overall topic, you know, maybe three different little specifics, and see which one people most uh, want to take you up on, and start having conversations with potential referral sources for this new um, field that you want to get into, and seeing what you could, what, through that conversation, what does their audience need that you could shape and create for an audience like theirs? Not that you're asking them, please share me with your audience, but you're just getting some information through these conversations. And so that's how you gradually start to shift into a new niche, okay? You don't, you don't just brand yourself completely differently overnight and say, all right, I used to be this and now my website and everything is now this. It's too abrupt of a change and you don't even know. Again, entrepreneurship that's successful is about experimentation. So you experiment more gradually rather than doing a wholesale change without having tested the market with these small experiments. I hope this is helpful and I'm always open to your comments and your questions. I wish you boldness in experimenting, but experimenting with low risk things first. Be well.